Hi, my name is Tracy May. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to take you on a virtual tour of my craft room. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. I'm standing with my back to the door, so this is, as you come into the room, this is the view that you get. And um, so, right away, we have my desk as you come in. Now, it's actually quite clear at the moment. I had a stamping up event here on Saturday, so I cleaned up. Uh, it doesn't normally look like that. It's normally covered in bits of paper and stamps and ink and everything. But uh, it's looking quite clear for now. I should really try to keep it like that, shouldn't I? Anyway, let's move around. There's my IKEA rascal. This thing is brilliant. I love it. Love it. I can wheel it around, wheel it out the way when I need to. So basically, there's the door. So as you come in right in front of you, you have my desk space. I've got my chair on wheels and I just actually sit on that and I was around the room um, without really getting up. I'm a bit lazy really like that. I like sitting down. So, um, all right, let me show you the rascog first. So in here, I have to hand all my general crafting goodies. So I've got my scissors, bone folder in there, craft knives, glues, everything really that I need when I'm making a card to stick things down. The magazine holder here has got my current and old copies of the catalogues, a few magazines and things that I have yet to even look at. Some cleaning stuff there, pots with handheld punches and pens there and spritzers and aqua painters and all little goodies that are just really easy to have on hand there and I can wheel this out of the way like I say. Underneath I've got stuff I don't really use that much. I've got various kits and all my Project Life stuff down on the bottom and my yet to be completed perpetual birthday calendar which on my pin board is still showing as March. How bad is that? No wonder I forget everybody's birthdays, I'm useless. There's my camera tripod, so I've put it there so that um, when I'm doing tutorials for my class, I can just take the photos as I'm going along at each stage. Also, I'm trying to do a few more tutorial videos to post on YouTube, so it's really handy having that there. And then I've got my, this is my little daylight lamp, if I just lift that up, there you go. That's quite dangerous really because when that's on at night I actually feel like it's daytime so I end up staying up rather late. And with two little boys who get up really early that's not very good but never mind anyway. On here I've got all my various notebooks. I've got different notebooks for different things. I'm a bit like a stationary hoarder and that's just my chair creaking there in the background and I think that's my phone pinging. But uh, hey ho, here I've got some pre cut card blanks, card fronts, and um, various bits and pieces for my journaling. I use the Midori planner at the moment, it's rather lovely. Um, I'm a bit obsessed with planners as well. That's my just my general pin board, as I say, my March birth, perpetual birthday calendar. Oops! And then down here I've got all my uh, marker pens. I've got a lovely yellow woven basket that a lovely, lovely customer um, brought back from Kenya with her, her and her sister. Um, and that's got pens in. I've got a bit of an obsession with pens. I've got another tin over there with pens in. I've got drawers full of pens. That's my laptop and then my stamp sets. Looking rather depleted at the moment since the retiring list went out um, and the change catalogue. I'm waiting for a big order to come but uh, they're rather busy at the minute. There's my ink pads. This is great. I can just scoot over on my chair and grab an ink pad from there without standing up. I'm so lazy. Under here I've got my wooden stamps. I don't generally tend to use the wood stamps much. Uh, actually there's some photopolymer ones there but in the wood stamp boxes. And then I've got my acrylic blocks and stamp cleaners. Oh, let me show you underneath because I use all the space there. I've got my 12 by 12 in these really useful boxes. 
I've got a, uh, what's it called, sewing machine at the back in the black bag and I've got a, a fabric box with my um, trimmers and score boards. I've got the old Stampin' Up! guillotine there. And then here's my lovely, lovely little filing cabinet. I love this thing. It's got my punches in. It's really easy and I don't have to dust them. I love it. And this is my, in my storage cabinet, I've got left a load of glues. Oops, let me stand up. So it's a drawer full of glue, the heat tool in there with my net, and, and what else have I got? Some more inks in there. Oh, I've got all my envelopes, post it notes, I've got some embellishments in there, and bare ends of ribbon and things and then over here oops, use the chair creak and this is my printing area and I also use this I, um, to take photos of my projects so I put a white white paper over the top of the printer and then take it take the picture against the white of the wall behind it and this oh, I love this this is all my paper so in the top drawer I've got all my scraps, so all different colours. And then in the bottom drawer, this is all the full packs of A4. So that whole cabinet there is paper and it's brilliant. I had them all in single files before which took up loads of space. And this is my table. So this extends and pulls out. You'll notice I've probably got um, the whole of the IKEA catalogue in this room. So my IKEA table and folding chairs, I've got a number of those over in the other corner which you'll see as we go around. That pulls out and extends so when I'm doing a class or an event at home I've got lots of room for people to sit on there. And now I've got oh, my bookcase, so I've got some books up there, uh, some reading books and then here I've got catalogues up at the, um, towards the top there. And then I've got some more of those lovely yellow baskets from Kenya uh, with various bits and pieces in them. And then I've got some little storage drawers. So in here I've got some little embellishment pots and um, I find they get lost in the big drawers so they're better off in those little ones. Another little, uh, that's all my old washi tape there. More pens, some pencils in there. And down here I've got my embossing folders. I've got my baker's twine in there. What's in that? Oh, yeah. All my IKEA stuff in there. And then I've got my big shot. I've got my framelits and embossing folders. And I've got my dies all stacked on there. And then at the bot on the bottom shelf I've got my cookery books. I love cooking. I've got loads of cookery books. And then there's some more kind of non stamping storage thing. Oh, a box of retired stuff down there. And in here I've just got various bits and pieces. I've got uh, a box there with some raffle prizes I um, use in my class cards that I've made. And then moving on over here, there's another storage unit. And in here I've got, um, oh yeah, at the back there in those baskets are candles and tea light holders and things like that that um, I use to make gifts with if I do a party. And then I've got some paints and things in that shelf, and then some catalogues, and then just some scrapbook albums. There's those stacking chairs I was telling you about. And then up here, this is my little project shelf, needs updating. Um, most of that stuff's retired, but they're pretty, so I do like to keep them on there. And then that's just the sofa bed. Um, as I said, this doubles up as our room, and that is my room, and I love it. I think it's just so nice, personally. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my virtual tour. I love looking at other people's craft spaces. I'm very nosy, so uh, ooh, that's me. Hello. <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the tour. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.